15 prohibitions and oddities only in Madagascar. Madagascar, the island often referred to as the eighth continent of the world, holds many peculiarities. This country is not only famous for its stunning natural beauty and unique biodiversity, but also for its unparalleled regulations and traditions. In this video, we will explore 15 prohibitions and peculiarities that can only be found in Madagascar. Prepare yourself mentally because these experiences are bound to shock you. Number 15. Eating leather shoes. We often think of Madagascar as not being impoverished since this land always attracts a large number of tourists. But you are completely mistaken the people of Madagascar are hungry to the extent that they have to eat discarded leather shoes left by tourists. The population of this island nation is about 26.3 million people. It is currently one of the poorest countries in the world with a nominal GDP of just over 10 billion USD annually, meaning that the average income per person is only 405 USD per year. Southern Madagascar hardly has anything besides arid land and famine, with three consecutive years without a drop of rain. When the last food aid arrived here in March last year, it was too late 150 people had already died of hunger. Many people resort to unimaginable methods begging for spare pieces of leather shoes, boiling them, and eating them. Many large families have to source food from wild roots. In the past, they could hunt animals, but today animals are also very rare and are strictly protected in conservation areas. The World Food Programme of the United Nations estimates that nearly 30,000 people in Madagascar are suffering from severe hunger caused by climate change, with half of them experiencing famine at level 5, according to the World Food Programme's assessment meaning at the catastrophic level when people have absolutely nothing to eat. The United Nations estimates that more than $78 million will be needed to immediately provide food aid to this country. It is sad to hear such terrible information, but we need to face the truth and understand that this land is not just full of beauty the people and creatures here are struggling to survive. Number 14. Burying the Umbilical Cord In Madagascar, even childbirth is surprising to many. When a woman gives birth, the midwife will bring the umbilical cord and placenta to the father. According to tradition, his responsibility is to bury them under a flat stone at the entrance of the ancestral home. Nowadays in urban areas, it is buried in a location around the house, in an area not prone to pollution. When burying them, the father ensures never to look back. This burial is a symbol of the perpetuity of lineage. In the beliefs of the Malagasy people, a person who is born without a properly buried umbilical cord will grow up to be mentally deficient. This tradition sounds quite interesting, but it also shows how superstitious the people here are. Very few people believe that mental deficiency is due to illness or genetic factors they all think it is because the father mishandled the umbilical cord burial. How unfortunate, isn't it? Number 13. Dancing with the Dead If you visit Madagascar, don't be too surprised if you see dead bodies dancing. It sounds crazy, but that's absolutely true. This tradition called Famadihana, or turning of the bones in Madagascar, dates back to the 17th century. Famadihana is a ritual demonstrating love, respect for relatives, and is also an occasion for family members to reunite and express their closeness. During this event, activities such as live music and animal sacrifices will be conducted. Guests and family members will receive pre-divided portions of meat. At the festival, the elders will explain to the younger generations the contributions of their ancestors. In fact, organizing the Famadihana ceremony is quite costly, as families have to prepare many things, including elaborate meals for guests and clothing for both the living and the dead. Some poor people have to save up for years to have enough money to build a tomb for their loved ones, then later hold ceremonies for the deceased. According to the local tradition, it would be considered disgraceful if a family did not organize the Famadihana ceremony when they could afford to pay for the expenses. Number 12. Only allowed to eat after the adults have eaten. As I mentioned in Malagasy society, respecting elders is a compulsory traditional custom in rural areas. Once the meal is served, no one is allowed to pick up their utensils until the elders have done so. This could be the father, grandmother or grandfather. Once they have picked up their utensils and begun eating, the rest of the family can also start eating. Food and culture often go hand in hand and in Madagascar, the different characteristics of rice a common staple have become an integral part of Malagasy culture. There is no meal without rice, from breakfast to dinner, and there is even a type of rice water called ranavola. In Malagasy, ranavola means valuable water. 
People in Madagascar believe that you cannot feel full if you don't have rice. And when you invite someone for dinner, you must invite them to eat rice. Rice even appears on the currency, with an image of a woman selling rice on the 10,000 Ariri banknote. Travelers to Madagascar can experience these customs and traditions as they pass through the vibrant island, home to a total of 18 ethnic groups. Number 11. All houses face west. One thing that anyone visiting Madagascar wonders about is why the houses of the locals always face west. To answer this question, we must delve deeper into the local culture. When a Malagasy person builds a house, they need to respect and adhere to certain rituals and rules. One of these is the orientation of the house. Malagasy people believe that the best sunlight is in the afternoon when the sun begins to set, so all houses should face west. In the traditional building process, the eastern front is sealed off without windows or entrances. Windows are usually only placed on the north side and the main door on the west side. This tradition may seem rigid, but in reality, building houses facing west helps people have better health than building in other directions. The west direction receives stronger sunlight than other directions. The advantage of sunlight is that it helps kill bacteria, reduce humidity in the house a factor causing the growth of many types of mold and bacteria. West-facing houses will take advantage of this great benefit. In contrast, houses facing north, if not cleaned and maintained well, are prone to mold and disease. Number 10. Staring. Most people in Madagascar tend to stare at the person in front of them. When you find yourself in this situation, you shouldn't react. Just ignore them and act as if nothing happened. In fact, only a small portion of people in urban areas in Madagascar are exposed to the novelties of the world, while most people truly live very traditionally. This explains why they are always curious about what you're holding, wearing, or your gestures. But I've already said they're just curious, no ill intentions at all. Just smile at them and don't shoo them away or speak harshly to them. That could make them angry and seek revenge. And another absurd thing is that even though they may stare at you for minutes, if you stare back at them or take their picture, you'll receive strong reactions. People in Madagascar are beautiful, and you'll surely be captivated by their beauty. However, you shouldn't take their picture without permission. It's best to ask the tour guide, consult local residents before taking photos. Number 9. Fady. When you set foot on this island, what you must do is learn about something called Fady, it refers to a range of cultural prohibitions against humans, places, actions, or any object. These taboos are believed to be enforced by supernatural forces and are primarily associated with ancestor worship in Madagascar. Fadi is an important part of Malagasy culture. This concept includes specific customs and traditions as well as moral regulations. Azafadi is a Malagasy word meaning please or sorry, excuse me, and it also means not Fadi. Some fady apply throughout Madagascar, such as never pointing at a tomb or pregnant women should not eat eels, but some fady apply to villages, tribes, or specific families. Fady can also relate to animals, such as never hunting foxes because of folklore or needing to protect sacred waterfalls in mountain conservation areas like Montagne d'Embre. Most fady have interesting stories behind them. Local guides understand the customs within fady and will explain them to tourists, who always respect these fady. When you have a guide by your side, what you need to do is listen to them absolutely to avoid disasters. Number 8. Don't wander into villages. What I'm about to say might make you uncomfortable, but I still want to say that you're truly foolish if you wander around in this land without a guide. But if you happen to get lost in a village, the lifeline you have to do is to find the leaders of that village. I want to reiterate that you need to meet and greet the tribe leader, this is considered necessary respect before you interact with the villagers. Each area has its own laws, but there is a custom that exists nationwide which is everyone must respect the elderly or those in authority. If you go there and disregard the elders or the leaders of the area, you will pay the price, but if you behave correctly they are also very approachable and will show you interesting things there. Also you can buy something from them as a souvenir and also to create goodwill with them, but to avoid any trouble you should pay in cash. This island usually deals in cash, so you should carry cash with you. Number 7. Giant Baobab Trees Do you believe there are trees that grow upside down? That's right, their roots point towards the sky instead of being rooted in the ground. It sounds absurd, but in Madagascar, nothing is impossible, right? 
Due to their proud nature, baobab trees have been banished to the sky for many years, living in a position with their heads down and roots pointing upwards to the sky, enduring wind and rain. In Madagascar, whether on dusty roads or in remote villages, the most common sight for tourists is rows of giant baobab trees with sturdy trunks towering straight up into the blue sky. From a distance, baobab trees resemble upside-down planted trees with roots growing conspicuously upwards. Today, these massive trees are considered symbols of Madagascar, representing the constant rise of this arid and harsh African land. People who come here often find it exciting and enthusiastic to pose for photos with these famous, large, and bizarre-shaped trees. Because of their unique structure, baobab trees are surrounded by many legends woven by local people. This legend not only impresses the community but also spreads throughout Africa. They believe that when God created the baobab trees, they refused to stand still like other trees and instead continued to run away. Therefore, to manage this species, God decided to flip them upside down, with the tops pointing down to the ground and the roots pointing up to the sky. Number 6. Not being generous. I just said, Madagascar is indeed an underdeveloped land, and the people can be said to be extremely poor. But I have to tell you another absurd thing, that when you come here, you are not allowed to be generous. In larger cities, you will encounter beggars, and most of them are children. They often gather in the capital Antananarivo and hold a hat, begging for cash from passers-by. You'll feel pity and give them some spare change. But do you know these children relate to pickpockets to deceive you? While you place money in the hat of the children, there are people outside who will snatch it from you. Moreover, constantly giving money also impoverishes these children, making them tools for their parents or guardians' money-making schemes. They will have to drop out of school to follow tourist groups begging for money and bring it back to their parents or guardians. So it's best if you want to help the people to turn to reputable organizations. Don't let yourself become easy prey for tricksters here. Number five, Pirate's Paradise. If you want to find the treasure left by pirates, the first place you should go is Madagascar. Madagascar was once a paradise for pirates and adventurous sailors. With its strategic geographical location and beautiful seascape, Madagascar attracted many captains and sailors from around the world. During the heyday of piracy, Madagascar became an ideal refuge for smugglers, pirates, and those seeking wealth opportunities. With pristine coral reefs, wild coastal bays, and natural harbors, Madagascar provides a perfect platform for pirate activities. However, it is also important to remember that the pirate era not only brought adventure and risk, but also caused many negative consequences for the local community and legitimate commercial activities. Today, Madagascar has undergone many changes and developments, but the legacy of pirates is still an integral part of this country. Number four, Stone Forest of Death. For those who are enthusiasts of adventure and exploration tourism, you will surely be fascinated by this forest. As one of the few forests with strange landscapes in the world, the Tingi was recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1990. Here, there are not only unique terrains, but also mangrove forests with rare and precious bird populations, lemurs and wild foxes. This strange forest is divided into two main parts, north and south. The north is a natural reserve with an area of nearly 531 square kilometers. The south is the Tingi de Bemaraha National Park, covering 666,531 square kilometers, adjacent to the west coast of Madagascar. In the local dictionary, Tsingi means a place where no one can walk barefoot. And that's true, the thin and sharp blocks of rock here make people feel like the edges are capable of piercing anything that touches them. It is also because of this reason that not many tourists are brave enough to conquer these peaks. These sharp and towering blocks of rocks may look intimidating, but they also make for a visually appealing background. Just choose a corner to capture the entire scene of the stone forest behind, and you're guaranteed to have a stunning photo. This place is also favored by many travel bloggers as a check-in location. They are truly mesmerizing to look at, but if you fall from above, you can't imagine the terrible things that are about to happen. So be very careful when visiting this area. Number three, strange creatures. What makes the island nation of Madagascar so special? It's the shared home of over 200,000 species of wildlife, including more than 100 species of lemurs, tenrex, crocodiles that you can't find anywhere else in the world, and 350 species of frogs, 370 different reptile species, along with countless colorful bird species, satisfying the adventurous spirit of any visitor. 
If you want to immerse yourself in the world of strange and interesting wildlife, visit the Analamazeltra Reserve, a component of the Andesiban Nadia National Park recognized by UNESCO as a World Natural Heritage Site. Here, you can admire the beautiful primary forests and witness the rarest lemur species in Madagascar, along with a host of reptiles and rare bird species. Additionally, visiting the Vakona Natural Reserve, you'll have the opportunity to learn about the lives of unique animals such as white lemurs with black faces, Indri lemurs, Nile crocodiles, fossa, etc. Don't forget to explore the Lima Park, the ideal habitat for ring-tailed lemurs, along with the Pyreiras Fire Farm home to chameleons, frogs, crocodiles, butterflies, and island tenrex. Especially the parks and nature reserves also provide camping areas, allowing visitors to live in open spaces and immerse themselves in nature. Number 2. The Mother of the Island You need to know that Madagascar is a giant island in Africa, but the inhabitants of Madagascar are descendants of about 30 Indonesian women when they arrived there on a lost ship 1,200 years ago. This discovery refutes the previous hypothesis that a large-scale settlement process took place on the island of Madagascar, off the coast of East Africa. According to this, Indonesian traders traveled along the Indian Ocean coast were the first to settle on this island. Rare archaeological evidence, including a few bone fragments marked by stone tools and an increase in forest fire rates, suggests that humans may have visited but not settled in Madagascar about 2,000 years ago. This is a very recent time considering the general history of mankind, and Madagascar is one of the last places on Earth that humans settled. Number 1. The Land of Spouting Water you may have seen the beautiful fountains created by humans, but they're nothing compared to what Mother Nature has created in Madagascar. If you still don't believe it, go to the town of Analavri, Madagascar, known for the existence of four natural cold water jets. These water jets are located near the area of some aragonite mineral deposits. The excess water from these mines is disposed of by channeling it into metal pipes that eventually push it to the Maisy Riverbank. Due to the warm and carbonic acid-rich water, it easily dissolves a large amount of lime on its journey to the river. Moreover, this warm water passes through iron pipes and the iron is also dissolved by carbonic acid. The water rich in carbon dioxide are pushed into the compressed pipe, and when the water appears at the end of the pipe, the pressure suddenly drops, causing the carbon dioxide to dissolve and spout out in the process of creating bubbles. In fact, the water jets here operate contrary to natural laws. Before becoming a tourist attraction, this place was used by the people of Madagascar as a place to perform ancestral rituals called Fanazinana, hoping for children and recovering health after a long battle with illness. It is unknown whether these prayers were effective or not, but turning them into tourist spots made the residents around feel extremely uncomfortable. You should not engage in destructive actions against these water jets. Remember, it is a sacred place for the local people there. Get take photos and leave. That's enough. Through the images and information shared, hopefully you have gained a deeper insight into this country, a country with magnificent natural beauty and a rich history. Keep exploring and discovering new and interesting things in the world. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your feedback in the comments section. We'll see you in the next videos. Thank you for accompanying us.